This is Michael Sundowner is, is who I'll refer to him as. But I will say this whole comment he made is very interesting that it comes from someone like him. Uh, also, if you Google something like, is it scientifically proven that public school employees are more likely to do this than any Catholic priest anywhere at any time ever. A hundred times more likely public school employee. Just listen to all these news stories constantly. It's all It happens all the time, especially with women to, to boys. Like, so we're not even going into that one, but I do want to make this comment. So I'm blurring out the name of the church in the city, but, oh, I should back up. So basically, this guy started dating someone who didn't like me. And he was forced or told to block me because his ex-boyfriend now didn't like him talking to me. So I saw that he unblocked me. And I messaged, well, I, I looked at his profile just to see what's up, to see if he's still dating the person, what's going on, he's single, whatever. Surprise, surprise, he's single. Anyways, uh, with that said, I looked and I found this, and it has his mother and his cousin on a public information, public information. Anyone can go to his <clears throat> profile and not be friends with him and see that. Because I wasn't friends with him, still not. Uh, but as you see, there are check-ins, and the most recent one was from May 1st, so that is the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker of last year, and funny enough, I was there, uh, that day. It was my, it was Glacy's birthday her 10th birthday uh and i was there like i went i left her with my family and all the other dogs while i ran to church and came back and we had the party like i was there so i knew he wasn't there before i knew he had not been there so i asked him just kind of flippantly about that and he started making up some believable story at first. And it actually made me second guess myself until he started talking about uh, that everyone was was smitten with him. And that's not how that church is. Like, they'll talk to you walking out the door, but they're probably not going to keep you there for more than a minute. Uh and then he talked about how the priest, uh, who I know, uh, he is actually from India, uh, how the priest apparently was touching his arm the whole time. The whole time is the phrase. Touching his arm the whole time. That's impossible. If you've ever went to a Catholic church and been to Mass, you'll see that the people are separated from the altar. So he couldn't be touched by the priest at all from the time he walks down the aisle once he's there until he leaves. I thought it would have been plausible if if it was like he was shaking his hand and had his arm on his hand and whatever, but that wasn't the case. It was all throughout the Mass. He kept on touching his arm. That's not true. He's a horrible liar. So that just goes to show another liberal, another liberal who tries to do online stuff, thinking it connects to real life. There's nothing you all can do legally to affect me. And I've already had people with warrants put the put out. Blah, 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 blah. I've already had the what are they called the the attorney. Whatever the attorney down at the courthouse is, they've placed warrants out on people before who do things illegally. 
both uh, personally, like, in front of me, and then also, like, harassment-wise. So, with that said, I just don't think it's really surprising that another liberal would have gone to check in to the church that he thought I go to. I did go to that when I first moved down to there. Uh, but I could, honestly, I couldn't understand the priest. I couldn't understand the priest because he's from India. And I just, I understood everyone else except for him. And I don't know how these country folk can understand him if I can't. Uh, I'm normally good with accents, but it's just so thick. It's like, unless I have the words in front of me, I don't know what he's saying. Uh, so I did move to, I, I actually go, I drove a whole hour away from Tranquil Meadows to go to a special mass. Like I would, I definitely would not be swayed away from driving two hours to like Nashville or something uh, for like a church or a cathedral. Actually, that's a good idea. I should go to the cathedral. I want to drive to Green Bay. I want to go to the only visionary site in North America, or at least in the United States, of the Virgin Mary. Uh, and so I would love to go there. And that's my goal this fall is to do a road trip up there. But with that said, it's just really telling that someone would go, would, would lie about all this. Like he went into so much detail that I started to believe him. Uh, but he didn't mention the thick accent. He didn't understand that the priest is separated from the people during the mass. Like there's a whole like, there used to be a whole communion rail in front of the people. So you had to walk up, you'd bow down and then you walk up the stairs and go to your seats. And it's kind of like a, a stage, if you will. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. Another liberal, liberal Michael. Liberal Michael. Who always makes those kind of comments, jokes about child trauma, making jokes, trying to be cute. No, no. Your spirit is broken. The sight of your words speak to your actions and they are disformed.